Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. In today's ClickFunnels 2.0 tutorial, I would like to show you how to create a course in ClickFunnels 2.0 in 2024. We already have a video about the course creation in our channel, but since the moment we published that video, the ClickFunnels team changed a few things. And that's why it's high time for an updated tutorial. I will also answer frequently asked questions about the course. For example, how to enroll users into the course, how to connect a product with your course, or how to send an email with the link to the course to help you connect the dots and create the course in ClickFunnels 2.0. One thing before we get started, if you don't have your ClickFunnels 2.0 account yet, you can find a link to a free trial in the description of this video. And if you're already using ClickFunnels 2.0, in the description you will find links to different packages that will help you save on your subscription. Now let's get to it. To access the course section, you would need to go to the sites and then courses and click create course. Next, we just need to follow the steps that we will see on the screen and ClickFunnels will walk us through the creation of the course. We can select a type of our course. Let's start with a simple course. Next, give your course a title. You can also add the description already here or do it later in the settings of the course and set the path URL. If you don't enter any custom path, ClickFunnels will just take the name of the course and use it as the path URL, but you can also update it in the settings of the course later. On the next step, we can choose the theme for our course. Usually it's the theme that you have set up for your workspace in ClickFunnels 2.0, but you can also use a different one. I will go with the one that I have for my workspace. And already here we can add the thumbnail image, or again, you can do it later in the settings of your course. If you give access to your course for free, you should select this option. And if you want to sell your course, you should select the paid course option, and then you will be offered to create your product. Let's go with the free course for now. And later in the video, I will show you in detail how you should create a product for your course and connect it to the course. A quick overview of the functionality that we have here. You can preview your course, you can clone your course a bit later when you already have some structure and maybe content created. You will be able to publish your course here, access the settings of the course, and with that button you will be able to add different content to your course. If you still want to change the theme, you can just click change theme here. And if you click customize, you will be able to customize both the templates and the content of your course. In the settings of the course, as mentioned before, we can change the title, change or add the description. We can select if we want ClickFunnels to send the enrollment email, and I would recommend you to do that so you don't have to think about it and it will be sent automatically. We will be able later to change the status of the course, it's also possible from the course dashboard. Change the path URL, theme, add the thumbnail image. And also configure the functionality of our course in the Learning Hub. For example, if you want this course to be shown in the Learning Hub, I would say yes. I also would enable lesson comments. If necessary, in the advanced settings, you will be able to select different themes for specific pages of your course. And another useful feature, in my opinion, is an unauthorized redirect, which means where do you want to send people who don't have access to your course? For example, they didn't purchase your course, but they still try to get access to the course. The first thing that I recommend you to do before you start adding content to your course is to customize the templates for your course. For that, you should click Customize. And we have three types of templates. We have a template for the course home, and then we have a template for the module and the lesson. Let's start with the course home. As you can see, the theme that you select for your workspace in ClickFunnels 2.0 already has a nicely looking template for your course home and also modules and lessons. There are a few things though that you need to know if you want to edit this template. First of all, on the template page, you will see different elements with the brackets like that. Those are dynamic elements and you shouldn't edit them. You shouldn't delete the brackets and you shouldn't write anything in those brackets. For example, this dynamic element is a course title and ClickFunnels will just take the title of the course that we set in the settings and automatically put it on this page. You can see these dynamic elements, for example, also in the breadcrumbs and here as the section title. Once again, don't edit those elements. Don't write your section title, for example, here. ClickFunnels will automatically take it and put it on your page. Those dynamic elements will save you time because if you update, let's say, a course title, 
You don't have to go to every page where you use this course title. You just need to update it in the settings of the course and ClickFunnels will automatically update it everywhere where you use this course title dynamic element. The second thing to consider, the course templates have the specific kind of elements, which are called collections. In this example, it's a course modules collection. And what you need to know about those collections is that if you want to change something, let's say you would like to remove the image in this collection, you only need to do that in one area. If we remove the image in this area, it will be removed in every area of this collection. Another example, if you would like to add a button, you click Add Element, then look for a button, and it will be added in all areas of this collection. Third, if you want to add other elements to your course template, click Add Element, and you will see that we have course-specific elements. And in addition to that, we have module and lesson-specific elements. Those elements will already have dynamic elements that you need. Let's say you want to add publish date, and it will already include the dynamic element to show the published date of your course. And last but not least, I see that question quite often. Not all workspace templates have this sidebar here. Our template does, but if your template doesn't have this sidebar, you just go add element, search for sidebar, and then just drag and drop this element to your template. After you're done editing your course homepage, you can go to the module template, click here, templates, and then select module. It usually looks pretty much the same as the course homepage, and you can edit it following the same principle. And after that, you should move to the lesson template. And before I show you how to customize your lesson template, like this video, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to enable notifications to not miss out on the future content. It's important to understand the structure of the lesson template in ClickFunnels 2.0. We have different areas or different types of content here. First, we have the area with the static content. What does it mean? That's the content that will be shown in all of your lessons. For example, if every lesson of your course includes video, you should add this video to the static content area of your lesson template. If you have an audio track in every lesson of your course, you also should add this audio track to the static area of the lesson template. And the content that we have in the static area of the template will be added in the settings of the lesson, not in the editor, but in the settings of the lesson. And after that, we have the dynamically replaced content. This is the content that is individual for every lesson. For example, if for one of the lessons you would like to add a few paragraphs of the text and the button, you would add them to the dynamically replaced content area. And this is the area, the dynamically replaced content area, is what we see when we open an editor for a specific lesson. So once again, the content that we have in the static content area will be added in the settings of the lesson and everything else will be added in the dynamically replaced content area. Once you're done editing your templates, you should save the changes and then we can go back to our course dashboard and start adding the content. We already have one module and one lesson pre-created for us. If you want to add a module, you can either use this button or the button on top, add content, add new module, give this module a title, description, and add an image if you would like, and click create module. To add a lesson, you can again use either this button, add new lesson, or you can click Add Content and Add Lesson. You can see that right now I'm adding the second lesson in Module 1. If you want to add a lesson to Module 2, just use this drop-down and select Module 2. And click Create Lesson. If needed, you can easily rearrange modules and lesson just by dragging and dropping them around the dashboard. To start editing the lesson, just click on the name of the lesson. On the left, you will see the settings of this specific lesson, and you can change the title, 
change or add the description, change the parent module, and in the media section, you will be able to add a thumbnail if you haven't done that when you created the lesson, and as mentioned before, a video or an audio. You can also change the lesson URL here, and in the advanced settings, you will be able to select a different theme for the lesson. And as mentioned before, here in the editor section, we will only see the content that we are adding in the dynamically replaced content area. That means if you edit a video or an audio, which is the static content of your lesson, you will not see them here. They will be shown to the students when they see this lesson, but you will not see them here in the editor. And if you want to add additional content to your lesson, just click add new section, add new role, let's go with one column, you can add a headline, paragraph, let's say an image, and then just edit the content. Everything works in the same way as in the page editor that you use to create funnels or site. Once you're done, click Save Changes. Next, you will be able to publish your lesson. If you want, you can either publish the module, log the module, or use the drip access. Let's say I want to publish this module now and I want the existing students have the access to this module, but I will not send the enrollment notification. Click Update module. And once you're done adding the content to your course, you should also publish the whole course. And you can do it either in the settings or here by clicking on this arrow and select Publish. Now let's cover the most common questions about the course. The first one would be how to connect a product to the course and how to sell this product on your funnel page. To do that, you would go to the product section in your account or you can navigate there from this tab linked products and click link product. I will do it from the product section so you see all the steps. I already have a product for the course pre-created. If you don't know how to create products in ClickFunnels 2.0, you can watch a video by clicking on the card up here in the top right corner and see step by step how you create a product. Once you have a product for your course, you can click on it to open the settings, scroll to the purchase actions section, and here we have the action for the course access. Click the plus icon, select the course to which you want to give access, you can also expand it to see if you have all the modules selected and click Save. If we now go to our course page and update it, we can see that we now have a product link to the course in the Linked Products tab. Also, the status of the course changed from free course to paid course and I can click on this link and preview the related product for the course. With that, we have a product connected to our course and the last step that you would want to do is to connect this product to your funnel page where you're selling your course. For that, you would go to your funnel, select the page where you have the checkout element, then click this button to add a product, select add product, and then select our course product. And with that, we have everything connected. The funnel page has the product and the product is associated with the course. The next question that I see quite often is how to enroll users into the course. And there are a few ways how you can approach that. The first one would be via a purchase of the product. And that's what we did on the previous step. That would mean when somebody buys the product on your funnel page, they automatically will recharge the price of your course and also enrolled into the course. By the way, if you refund the money or the customer issues a chargeback, they will be automatically unenrolled from your course. The second way how you can enroll contacts into the course is manually. If you go to the contacts and then select a specific contact, like I have my contact here, you open the contact information and go to the enrollment step, click add enrollment, select the course here and click save. And with that, this contact is enrolled into your course. And the third way how you can enroll users into your course is using a workflow. I believe this option is relevant when you don't sell the course on the funnel, but you give free access to your course. In this case, I would create a workflow like that and then select the trigger opt-in. For example, they opt-in on my page and give me the contact information. And as a bonus, I send them the course. The next action would be enroll. 
And then you can select into which course you want to enroll them and click Create step. And using the same workflow, you can send email follow-ups and perform actions with the contacts. And last but not least, you may be wondering how users get access to the course. First of all, in the settings, you may remember that we have the toggle Send Enrollment Email, and I would recommend you to make sure that it's enabled. And what does it mean? When a contact is enrolled into your course, ClickFunnels will automatically send them an email with the link to create the account and access your course. You can find these emails in the settings, then System Emails and the Course tab. You will see that we have the course enrollment notification here and other notifications for modules. You can also click this edit icon and modify this email. The link in the email will lead them to the page like this. And here they will be able to create the account for your customer center. And your course is hosted in the customer center of ClickFunnels. And after they create the account, they will be able to log in and then access your course. That's it for today. I hope that this video was helpful for you. If that's the case, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and enable notifications to not miss out on the future content. And thank you for watching. I will see you in the future videos.